Welcome to Evening Prayer. Through this period of Lent, we are journeying towards Resurrection Day and taking time to mark exactly what that means and why it matters. We're praying through the Psalms together, um, ancient song lyrics and poems that express every conceivable human emotion to God. Tonight is Psalm 52. So if you haven't done so yet, grab your Bible or you can click the link with this video to go straight to the NIV version, which is what I'll be reading. We want to mark uh, these times out as special, uh, a time when we give our attention to God and allow God to work in the deep places in our lives. Uh, I'm going to light this candle as a reminder that Jesus is present with us. And maybe you would like to light a candle where you are too. Then we're going to be still. And then we're going to pray. So. We light this candle as a reminder of the presence of Christ. The light of the world. And I invite you just to become aware of your breathing. And if you can, to breathe a little more deeply. And a little more slowly. A reminder of the life that God breathes into us. And I invite you just to become aware of any sensations in your body, especially tension in your neck and shoulders, the stresses and burdens of the day. Perhaps you can release some of that tension and just settle into the firmness of the seat supporting you. A reminder of how God holds us firm. And we thank you, God, for your presence with us. Thank you, Father, for your deep love for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you long to speak to us. Thank you, Jesus that you are leading us. Amen. Amen. Now there is a pattern in history that at times of uncertainty, people turn to bad leaders. Uh, political strongmen, authoritarian dictators who rule by force of will and military might. It's happening in the world right now, and it was happening all the way back thousands of years ago when tonight's psalm was written. But while some seek safety or security in human strength, God's people have always believed differently. I mean, think even when God sent the judges to rescue people, um, they tried to make Gideon into their king. And Gideon said, no, God is our king. And later... When the kings of Israel and Judah tried to behave like those forceful, mighty kings around them, that's when things went wrong. Jesus taught a different kind of strength. A strength that loves enemies. A strength to forgive. A strength that pursues 
justice, peace and reconciliation. So when the world is turning towards forceful authoritarian leaders, it can make God's people feel all kinds of things. It can make us feel afraid. It can make us feel ashamed of looking weak. It can make us feel angry when we see them succeeding while those who live God's way are suffering. This psalm gives words to those kinds of emotions. This psalm is a cry for justice, that evil would be exposed and that right would finally be done. And it's a declaration of a choice to live differently. A reminder to ourselves not to be tempted by the apparent success of the strong men, but to place our trust in God and God's ways. So let's pray these words together. And if you're able to say them out loud where you are, we'll do that. Um, And then we'll be quiet for a moment. Psalm 52. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty hero? Why do you boast all day long, you who are in disgrace in the eyes of God? You who practice deceit. Your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. You love evil rather than good. Falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and pluck you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at you, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. For what you have done, I will always praise you in the presence of your faithful people. And I will hope in your good name. For your name is good. King Jesus, bring your justice in the world. King Jesus, expose the works of evil. King Jesus, Teach us what true strength means. King Jesus, teach us the way of peace. Um, now we're praying together each night and there's some words that we can say together each night and if you want to join me in saying those words they are in the text that goes along with this video so we pray together O high king of heaven have mercy on our land 
revive your church. Send your Holy Spirit for the sake of the lost, the least, and the broken. May your kingdom come to our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And we'll finish with a blessing. These words from Psalm 4. In peace. I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Amen.